Hello, this is Tofman Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how I can use a an add-on called the Kit Bash or Kit Ops add-on. Uh, and what the Kit Ops add-on is is that it's a kit bashing add-on that allows you to add pre-made models and materials to a model that you're working on in Blender. It's more like hard surface modeling, like mechanical things, uh, circuit boards, um, I know vent units, uh, things like that, things along those lines. That's what the kit bashing kit ops add-on does. And this is the third version of it is kit ops three. And it works in Blender 3.6 all the way up to 4.2. I'm using 3.4 myself and it seems to work fine. So that's not an issue with that. And it renders in EV and in cycles. Not all of it does. Some aspects of it render in EV. Some aspects of it render in cycles. Uh, and it's not only you have to pay for it. It's like $35 for the, for, for the price. It's not that bad. Uh, but I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is somewhat the same and then somewhat different. And I'll show you how to install the K-Pack so you can purchase with the add-on itself. Now to install the primary add-on itself, uh, once you download it onto your system, go to Edit, Preferences, uh, Install, navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system, click on that zip folder and click on install that on. I've already done that myself. Uh, you can see it's right here, Kit Ops. Um, and you put a check in the box to activate it. And the uh, it's got some parameters here that you can change in terms of the way you want the add-on to perform and kind of act inside of Blender. Uh, you can change the offset on the X and Y axis, uh, the Boolean solver, uh, exporting settings and port settings and so on and so forth. And file paths this is where you can install the k packs that come with the add on the k packs they contain uh, other modeled aspects pre-made models of the uh, for the add-on and textures too uh, you can just search for you know things in the master folder and so on and so forth but we're just going to focus on the file paths to install the add-ons now uh, there are two ways you can install it uh, click on this plus sign and it will give you an option, a slot here where you can click on a folder icon to, to uh, navigate to where the K pack is that you've purchased. And if this doesn't work, another way to do it is like this. You can click on this folder or left click in this parameter, this space here, and then press Control C because this is where the K packs. Uh, the default folder for the k packs are stored on your system. So instead of you trying to navigate and try to find it yourself, just left click in there, let this all be highlighted, press Control C on your keyboard to copy this uh, address here, so to speak. Uh, and I'm going to open up a folder. You should be able to do this you know, without being shown, but open up a folder on your computer. So I'm going to right click on that folder icon and left click on File Explorer. Uh, left click in this space here, press Control V to paste that, enter. And these are all, this is this place where the K packs are for the KitOps add on are held or are stored. Now I'm going to go to where I have some K packs on my system. And they're all in zip files here. I'm going to extract this one here. I'm going to left click or right click, sorry about that and click on extract files. You can use any um, zip unzipping uh, software. I'm using WinWare myself uh, to extract from the zip folder. And I want to click on OK and give that some time. It's not that big. The folders aren't that big. So it's not going to take a long time to extract them from the zip folder. Let's give it a few minutes and there we go. And here you have the main folder for the sci-fi master folder. So left click on that, left click again, and then you have, uh, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six folders. So you want all of this to be put into the main folder for the kit ops add-on. So we're going to left click and drag up and then left click and hold and then drag that over. And this is going to transfer all these files from the uh, 
newly unzipped sci-fi master folder over to the KitOps master folder. And I've already done that. You can see you can see controls, search controls, decals, decals, and so on and so forth. And that's what you would have to do for every zip or every K-Pack zipped folder that you have purchased for the add-on. And once you've done that, it's available to use in the add-on. Now, after you've done all that process, the add-on is ready to use. It, it automatically comes with the bonus folder, which is this. And it's got um, some cutouts that you can use. But once you've installed uh, new K-Packs, as you install them, if you click on this drop-down arrow, you'll see all the ones that you have installed for the add-on. And I have a few here myself. And some are materials and some are cutouts or pre-made models, hard surface models, which is cool. Now, you can add favorites. If you, you know, use a particular uh, K-Pack quite a bit, you just left click on this. You just kind of click on the arrow and probably go to, I guess, MA Cutters Complex. And you just click on the star or just click on this star and it will add it as a constant K-Pack that you're constantly using. Now to, if you don't see the star down here or the, that star we just clicked on, just click on this icon up here and it brings out the star to add to favorites. And this star is, or this icon, I guess you can say, is, is what is used uh, in terms of you using uh, the K-Packs. Because as you use different K-Packs, they'll start to appear up here. If you click on that, it'll actually appear above. This is the t the uh, the recently used K-Packs. So you can see I've used a few of them already. And it's kept them in the timeline. So instead of going through that long list, if you have a lot of K-Packs that you've downloaded, instead of going through a long list and trying to find out the ones that you've used before, all you have to do is just go to your timeline and click on it. And it'll change it to... Uh, the ones that you've just recently used, which is which is helpful, was very very helpful. So in order to use the K packs, and now some of the the K packs come with just uh, models that can pretty much just be used on their own. Like this one has a stool in it. It's got uh, a wooden block, uh, a brick wall, so on and so forth. Uh, a doorway. It's got two doorways. Uh, I guess these are windows. So that's pretty cool. But we're going to go to, let's go to another K-Pack that I've, I've used. This is like a, I think this is like, this is actually like a, a fan for a, a CPU unit or a computer. And in order to use this model on, this pre-made K-Pack model on a model that's using in Blender, make sure that your model is highlighted. We're going to use this cube uh, as an example. And click on Add Insert and then just hover your mouse uh, over here where you want the K-Pack to appear. And the cool thing about some of these K-Packs is that they're animated. So if we go back in our timeline and we press play, you see it's spinning. And that's pretty cool. It saves a lot of time in, in terms of you having to animate it yourself. It, it's already pre-animated, which is really, really nice. Now, there are materials in here also. So we can uh, click on that drop-down arrow. And KO Metal is a material. Click on that. If you left click on that uh, icon there, or that thumbnail, it's got you know some pre-made preset materials here. Let's see how these look inside the viewport. Uh, let's change this to change our sky. Left click on that icon there. Left click on our color uh, tab there. It brings up the color wheel, makes it a little bit brighter, and make it a little bit. Let's say yellow. That's good enough. And we're going to change this from, because I think this is only this part, this particular material works in cycles. So if you click on the drop down arrow once again, you can see that it says EV featured. So this works in EV. This can work in EV. There's a picture of the, the developer there. You know, that's that's him, that's the guy that made the, uh, the add on. Uh, but with this particular metal material, I think this only works in cycles. So we're going to go to gold, shiny. Let's left click on that. And we're going to change our viewport. Uh, click on render properties. Turn from EV to cycles. And if you have a strong enough uh, GPU, turn from CPU to GPU. 
And I'm going to change the render samples from 4096 to 128, which is more than enough. Enter. And click on this icon to change our viewport. And this is what it looks like. So we can click on um, this fan here, This any part of it. It comes in different sections. Click on the middle part. Okay, then click on add material and it turns it to that gold material. It's not as reflective because we don't have anything in our scene for it to reflect anything into here. But if you have like, you know, a building or trees like it appears here, you'll see the reflection in that material. Let's click on the, our blades there, add material, same thing. Even click on our cube, add material. It gives it that gold color, that shiny gold color. But yeah, it's, it's very, very simple to use, very, very intuitive. Um, you can click on uh, the bounding box, I guess you can say, and can change the, the parameters that you can use to change the way this appears. Um, select all inserts, select one insert, duplicate it, delete the insert, relocate it, edit insert. So you have all these uh, parameters that you can adjust and change. And you, if you look further down, you can still have more adjustments made uh, down here in terms of the modifiers on the X, Y, and Z axis and increase the counts. Um, the controls here for large, medium, small. If you want the uh, pre-made models to be large, choose that, make them medium. But I think you have to actually, oh, it actually, because on the older models, you have to the older version of the uh, app or the add-on, you would have to choose what size you want it to be first to then choose the model. Then it would insert it according to the size that you chose. But this does it on the fly, which is great. Small, increase the scale of it. So this is pretty cool. This is They made a lot of improvements to it. You can uh, click on where you want it to be aligned, uh, top, bottom, on the side, so on and so forth. Just keep in mind, this is more like a hard surface modeling tool. Uh, curved surfaces, you could might have a challenge in terms of applying these models to them. But on the flat surface, it works great. You have more tools down here. So it comes with a lot of uh, parameters you can adjust to. And like I said, it, it's a kit bashing add-on. So you don't have to just stick with one model. You can click on the cube again. Uh, let's go to, let's see what else we can pick here. It says... MA Objects Complex, let's, let's click on that. It's got a fan on that one too, but let's click some, let's choose something different. Uh, let's click on that one. And then add inserts. And then click on that. And that's how you can start building up complex looking uh, models in Blender by using this kit bashing add-on. You can, you can add as many as, you know, seems reasonable and the um, rendering time isn't that bad. It's it's actually pretty fast. If you were to model this stuff yourself, it would take a long time. And, you know, it would take a long time also in terms of rendering it. But as I said before, it's non-destructive. You can click on this icon. Actually, this model, sorry about that. And move it out of the way. Let's move our, move it up a little bit. And you can see that it doesn't affect the cube at all. It's reflective because we added that gold material to it, but the cube is still the cube. And if you insert the fan back into it, like that, it fits perfectly into it. There's no uh, issues with the geometry, no weird looking effects from it. It just works fine. So yeah, that's the, this is the KitOps 3 add-on. It works great. It's, I think it's one of the top add-ons in Blender when it comes to hard surface modeling or kit bashing. It does a really great job in terms of um, adding materials or adding models to your pre-existing models in Blender, hard surface models. And Chip Waters is the name of the guy that's actually created this add-on. And great job, Chip. This, this works great. And that's today's Blender quick tip the uh, KitOps 3 add-on. And uh, I encourage you guys to download it yourself and check it out. It works great. Uh, no issues, no problems with it at all. Um, and remember to like and subscribe. And hopefully this was helpful for those of you who have watched. 
and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.